Sit down. We want to talk to you real quick. Can we talk to you real quick? Hi. Actually, I am heading out. But um, right now is a real moment that our people need in order for us to be able to talk about what's really happening. We need a Build Back Better plan right now. Activists confronted Senator Kirsten Cinema at Arizona State University. And we stopped the video there for her privacy and for others because she was followed into a bathroom. The group Lucha shared the video on Twitter. Activists want Cinema to support a $3.5 trillion bill to fund social programs and support a pathway to citizenship for undocumented immigrants. Now, again, we're not showing inside the restroom, but here's more of what they said to the senator. We need solutions. The Build Back Better plan need, has the solutions that we need. We knocked on doors for you to get you elected. And just how we got you elected, we can get you out of office if you don't support what you promised us. Cinema has been criticized by members of her own party for her opposition to the economic legislation, while not being clear on what she would support. This is part of the division among Democrats derailing President Biden's infrastructure bill and broader domestic agenda. But as Tom Hansen reports, the president says he's ready to battle to make sure it gets back on track. President Biden expressed frustration over the rift in his own party that's stalling his domestic agenda. Everybody's frustrated. It's part of being in government. Biden's going to work like hell to make sure we get both these passed. And I think we will get them passed. Last week, the House failed to hold a vote on a $1.2 trillion bipartisan infrastructure bill. Progressive Democrats say they won't support it without a separate $3.5 trillion social spending package, which moderate Democrats say is too costly. The White House isn't making the demands to exclude universal child care or universal pre-K. This is coming from the more conservative wing of the Democratic Party. And those are the, but those are the conversations that we need to have. On Sunday, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer expressed optimism a deal will be reached. Our goal is to get it done in the next month. Democratic lawmakers are also working with the White House to increase the nation's debt limit to prevent the U.S. from defaulting. Telling Democrats to do it on their own, GOP senators have indicated they won't support raising the debt ceiling. Well, I hope the Republicans won't be so irresponsible as to refuse to raise the debt limit. The Treasury Department estimates a government funding deadline will come no later than October 18th. Tom Hanson, CBS News.